So I'm not sure if I'll get the whole project on video for this uh, because it's not my project. I'm helping my friend Mike. Basically, someone asked him to make a wooden frame to go around this glass. It's a 3D piece of glass with fish in it. The goal being you paint the inside of the fish and then the light comes through. So we went from this piece with the rounded edges, squared off the corners, and then split it down the middle, and that gave us basically two pieces that were one and seven sixteenths inches wide. And this ends up being 25 30 seconds uh, thick. So from there, the plan was okay, let's make this into something that has not only a spot to put the glass, so we'll have a front lip and then the glass and then a back cover plate to kind of lock it in. So going from this piece to, if it'll stand up, I'll try it on the other side then, this piece. Okay, so we're turning this into this. The small notch being where the glass would fit, that is 3 16 inch deep or wide in this direction and a quarter inch wide in this direction and then this other piece which is a quarter inch deep and one inch from here to the front of the board. So then we cut pieces of thin 3 16 inch plywood that will basically fit in there like that and then the glass that will hold in the glass and there'll be a little bit of a lip so it doesn't stick out past and yeah so the next so we now have so this was the test cut piece and we now have the two top bottom and the two side pieces and that's the other piece of plywood to go along the, the edge. So next what we have to do is we need to cut these corners at 45 degrees and then fit the glass in, put the plywood in, drill holes and get it all ready to go and then come up with a way to hang it uh, and then just any sanding etc. And I think the person who's going to get it wanted to stain the wood as well. This is pretty enough. They may or may not decide to stain it. Uh, they may just put a clear coat on because the projects I've had with this, it ended up being pretty enough that we just didn't stain it. We just put a clear coat on. But yeah, that's the that's the fun bit. And for those people who like crazy math, that's the glass size. So it's basically 18 inches of glass by, and it's not square. So the top is 18 inches. The bottom is 17 and 7 eighths. The sides are at least equivalent with 7 and 15 sixteenths. And then here was figuring out how, you know, the sizing for with that quarter inch inlet, inlay for the glass. And then this was how long do we want? Well, we wanted a sixteenth of an inch uh, uh, space. I know that says 1 6, but that's supposed to be sixteenth. And then one and three sixteenths on each end for the section of the, you know, beyond the, ins the inset. And then the sides were eight inches. We added a sixteenth of an inch. And then one and thirteen sixteenths. So it ends up being 20 and a half inches for the full length corner to corner on the top. And 10 and seven sixteenths for the sides. And then here's the crazy math for figuring out where these cuts should go. So a uh, quarter inch, so 17, if this is the zero s spot, so if, if say this is the saw blade and here's the fence, we slid this up against the saw blade and then ran a cut at one inch as high at 1730 seconds for the fence and then we went over and did it at uh, 11.30 seconds 
a quarter inch high for this other cut and then we bumped it back and did 14 30 seconds to take the other vertical piece out for that slot and then we flipped it over and cut it there and cut it vertically this direction and trimmed that little piece off and that gave us the shape so tomorrow we will see about doing the 45s on the corners and then trimming the plywood to size and go from there. But yeah, it's a fun project. All right, we got the corners trimmed to 45s. And that looks pretty good. And there's a little bit of a gap along the glass, which is also good. And then, where did I put them? Here they are. So the plan is, you see these little squares, is to route that out with my Stumac, put little pieces of plywood in and glue that down to hold that in place, and then put these pieces of plywood in to hold the glass in place. So this way, you can see there's overlap even for the glass and then similarly on the bottom so that way the glass will sort of somewhat float uh, the people will probably put some caulking or something in just to hold it but that way this all should work good and I don't think we have to put it up the sides we may do that too but the initial plan was just do top and bottom and then because we have all this space put some screws down through to hold this plywood into this and then we should be good so after lunch the plan is to use the Stumac plunge router to route this out fit and glue in the plywood glue the corners and then go from there so it's getting there and it looks pretty good I don't have because it's, it's just sitting there, I don't have an easy way to turn it around to show from the front. We'll try. Dangerous. Anyway, that's kind of what it looks like from the front. So you can see through the glass. So, yeah. That should be good. More progress after lunch. And the frame is basically done. So we were able to super glue the corners. And this is what it's going to look like. Well, it's going to have, obviously, paint on the fish and light from in behind it. But that's kind of what it's going to look like. Looking straight down. So, yeah. I think the, this came out really cool. The grain is nice. I think this is wood. I know it's the kind that certain spots glow in black light. I didn't bring my fluorescent flashlight it out or whatnot to see if any of this does but that's kind of cool too but basically that's what it looks like there and so what we did we took little squares of the plywood like I had said before routed that down in so that's flush rounded the corners thick super glue under there to glue that down thin super glue to finish it up and it should be good. So the next thing is to get screws to put in. And I think Mike and I figured out that uh, number four half inch should work fine. And just because again, the, these pieces here go up underneath. And it, the, if they're just right at the surface, countersunk, the obviously the flathead screws, screws not the dome kind uh, but if you do those and put it in it should work fine this is plenty of space away from the glass to be able to put screws in and it should be good yeah nice quick fun project for yesterday and today and I think th this may or may not be the last part but because uh, I don't know if we're going to do the screws here or whatnot, and if the person is going to want it stained or painted or just clear coat, but yeah, successful project.